This setup is for rock gold ore. The final size needed to release the gold is 0 to 1 mm. The equipment list is as below. 1. Hopper plus vibration feeder. Raw materials will feed into the hopper by truck or excavator as you want. Then the materials will feed into the jaw crusher by the vibration feeder automatically. 2. Jaw crusher. Jaw crusher is used to crush the rock gold ore. Different models of the jaw crusher is with different input sizes, discharge size, and capacity. The model of the jaw crusher is chosen based on the ore size and the capacity you want to process. Big ore sizes need the big model and more cost. 3. Belt conveyor. Belt conveyor is used to transport the discharge from the jaw crusher to the hopper. It works automatically, will save much manual work, and the length and width can be customized as you requested. 4. Hopper plus trough feeder. There are two functions of the hopper and trough feeder. A. Make the feeding work to each machine more smoothly. When you feed the materials to the jaw crusher, it will take some time to get the discharge. The machines behind the jaw crusher will work for nothing at that time. Which means wasting power and releasing the capacity of the machines behind the jaw crusher. If you add the hopper and trough feeder, each machine can run better. B. Used to stock the discharge from the jaw crusher. Sometimes the ore size may be big, you need to use a big jaw crusher with big capacity. But you just want to start with a small capacity, then you can add the hopper and trough feeder to stock the discharge from the jaw crusher, and you can choose the hammer crusher with a small capacity behind the jaw crusher. No need to match the capacity with the jaw crusher. When the hopper is full, you can stop the jaw crusher. Will save more power. 5. Belt conveyor. Belt conveyor is used to transporting the discharge from the hopper to the hammer crusher. It works automatically, will save much manual work, and the length and width can be customized as you requested. 6. Hammer crusher. Hammer crusher is used to small the discharge from the jaw crusher, because the feeding size of the wet pan mill is 0 to 25 millimeters. The discharge from the jaw crusher is hard to meet the needs of the wet pan mill, the hammer crusher can do work successfully. There is a sieve under the hammer crusher and the sieve size can be customized as you want. Minimum sieve size can be 2 mm. The smaller size you feed into the wet pan mill, the more efficient work you will get. 7. Wet pan mill. For the rock gold ore, sometimes the gold can be released under the size 0 to 2 mm or 0 to 1 mm or 0 to 200 mesh. These output size will need different machines and also depends on the ore condition. If you need to grind the ore to 0 to 1 mm, you may need the wet pan mill. 8. Shaking table. The shaking table is used to get the gold concentrate from the raw materials. When you add the water and materials to the shaking table, the gold will be separated from other stones and minerals which the gravity is lower than the gold. 9. Gold smelting furnace. The gold concentrate from the shaking table can be smelted to the gold bar by the gold smelting furnace. Will easy to carry the gold and in case of missing. Notes. The wet pan mill and shaking table will need water when works. You can also add water to the hammer crusher. In case blocking the sieve of the hammer crusher. The machines in the video are just for your reference. Need to reconfirm based on the ore condition you provide. Thanks.